the body of the ministers of Finnish, but we don't need more long flavor because of the sea. I have a question. Why don't you change the complaints? Exchange uh, between uh, Barito and... Um, I, think, I think in all business, uh, one, one thing that is very important is uh, not to be comfortable what you are doing. We need always to try to improve. We, we may have done something good, but each vintage we need we need to feel that we can do better next vintage. But but if you in case if you change the uh, grapes, maybe you should change also the name of the wine or not. Um, I don't think that way. Uh, I understand what you are because saying. It's not so. Uh, so we, 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 yes, uh, I understand that we shouldn't change the style of the wine. But um, we we should create um, a strong a strong uh, style. Um, and uh, when someone uh, asks for Casal de Coelheira, they must expect something they have tasted in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, I think we should always look for improvements. And um, we thought that Casal de Coelheira with the blends of uh, Fernão Pires and Chardonnay that are too strong, too heavy grapes because all the Coelheira was lacking a little of freshness. And in a, a first step, when we started introducing the Arinto, because it was, as I told you, uh, for two vintage, it was only Fernão Pires and uh, Arinto, um, we decided that we could give a little more freshness and a little more elegance to the wine. Um, and then, with the introduction of the Verdelho in 2013, in this vintage we are tasting, we gave a little more complexity, with a little more tropi tropicality with, uh, with, the, with the Verdelho. That probably only you can taste the difference, yeah? What do you mean? <laughs> no, I don't yeah, think so. I don't I think am. so. If you compare 2011 Casal do Coelheiro with the 2014, we will feel a uh, big, big difference. Yeah. Yes. But don't worry, because we are not intending to change grapes for the next week. We think that uh, we are achieving the style we want. We want uh, uh, elegant wine with a nice body, with a nice volume. Uh, and I think we can we achieve the balance with the, in, this, in this vintage. We achieve the balance of the Fernand Pires with the input. Which, which, which body is. Uh... More nicer than the previous one or this? What do you mean? I think this one. The same body, but uh, but one more is elegant. more brown. It's more. Ah, one is more. More elegant. elegant. Yes, it's more Latvian. It's <laughs> like a sister and mother, probably. Or... Uh, no, no. I think it's um, the, the, the Portuguese <laughs> are very, very nice girls, but uh, you see, they are not very tall, so okay. they are not so elegant as the Latvian. Well, from pictures, I, I couldn't figure out, and I missed the very beginning of the presentation. Are you growing the grapes too, or you are just owning and producing? Sorry, owning I... a factory and producing wine? No, no, no. All, you are growing all, the, the, all the grapes we transform into wine so are from, from our vineyards. So you are owner of the wine yard. Exactly. Not a wine producer. You are both exactly. wine yard owner and exactly. wine producer. We don't buy grapes, we don't buy wine. Exactly. We, don't, we only produce from, from, our, from the vineyards, we control our own vineyards. Maybe, maybe you know, you can explain about the name of the Casal de Coelera. What does it mean ah. in, in Latvia or in English? That, that is uh, Latvian, I, I would like to try. Yeah. <laughs> um, Casal de Coelera, it's a very ancient name, but um, the origin of the name, I think we are leaving it nowadays. 
um, maybe you don't know or maybe you can imagine from this nice I think nice label we have we have here uh, coelheira means in uh, Portuguese uh, house of rabbits and uh, I don't know really historically I don't have documents that can prove that but I can imagine that the origin of the name is that we have a lot of rabbits there and nowadays we are <laughs> suffering problems with too much rabbits because they hit the young plants uh, we must be very careful to protect the plants otherwise the rabbits they will hit they will destroy the, the young vines um, and they also eat the whole nest it's incredible but they can jump in, in, the, in our region because we have a lot of sunshine the vineyards are, are small they are very close to the, to the soil um, so uh, it's more or less easy to the rabbits to jump on the top of the fighters <laughs> and they will hit. And how you can protect it then? The, the shooting or trapping? Or... Um, we try, we have an association of hunters uh -huh. that uh, manage all the population of, um, of the... How do you but say? Is it, is it allowed to go and to count it in, yes. in, 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 in each time? Or, or? No, we have, we have sp specific seasons, seasons to, to, to uh, end. Okay, no. But uh, we have an agreement from. Like in the, Australia, you know, it's so important. Yeah, yeah. We have an agreement uh, from, with, the, with the state, with the government, that allow us to trap. Um, some rabbits and to relocate the rabbits in other farms that want some 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 rabbits uh, because because it's a problem um, it's also a security problem because they make uh, big holes in the soils and when the tractors when the machines they pass they they have the the, the 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 danger of uh, turning down the machine uh -huh, uh -huh. and uh, we may have uh, serious uh, problems we have uh, the with same that. problems with the beavers yeah yeah the same problem that so many people broke the legs because they suddenly appears in the in the hole I can uh, uh, tell you one uh, story that uh, I heard from my wife because she is a journalist on it please stand up Everybody should know you if you don't speak English. So, I, yeah. And uh, if everybody is understanding English, I can uh, uh, say in English, but better I, I can explain you in English and to other people in Latvia. Uh, okay, before in English. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry, don't worry, please. The, the, she told me this is, uh, history because we have also the society of. Wine, the best region and the oldest region in, is in Kandava region, which is the most sunny and uh, it's uh, originally the, I mean even the the forest on the on the Vaziemian is of course far part of the of the wine that you grow it. And that, that is a one uh, family also grow the winery. Yeah, what is, what is? And, and, uh, and 